thousand watts. It is something big. We like, can't have it. Like we don't even like we're not coffee people. I don't know. This is the bottom the frame here, and we had to build it in this wonky, uh, you know, frame mark here because it had to fit over this and still have support. if this is a good idea but like just put it on the screw welcome back to me building things so sean told me that since these are cut from the same piece that there's a rounded edge and like a sharp edge and that you in his words take that into account cool kids over at your sleepover party. That's it. Do you want to impress your friends by building your own futon? Where are you going with this? Do you want to build a schoolie and maybe make your couches? How to build your own DIY pull-out couch. I've never done this before. Custom built furniture. That's value. It's like whatever. It's like whatever. We then put a finishing piece of plywood on the front of the stationary frame. That just makes it so that when we lift it up, it still looks nice. And then we have the secondary frame here. That's the one that pulls out. And then there'll be another piece of finishing plywood on the outside of this too. Stay tuned for another episode of Sean and Arsh. Wow, nice. Of Sean. This couch will pull out to the center, and then so will this couch, and they'll meet in the middle, make a huge guest bed. We're not gonna have a TV in our room. There'll just be one up front here, so this is where we'll have guests. There can be probably sit about two people each couch, so. Look at my baby making a couch. It looks so cool. Dude, it's working. This is sick. What's next? Let's get the hell out of here. So quick side note, we were having some trouble smoothly pulling the couch away from the frame. So we added these three quarter inch strips of birch to each of the underside pieces that were attached to the inside frame. You'll see in a second why, but it helped it to move faster. Oh 
last screw. I mean, it's definitely not like finished, finished, but. This is how it works. So this will obviously have a piece of finishing wood yeah. on the front of this, as well on the sides. And then it also- Oh, to the wall. It'll be attached to the wall, okay. Not again. Oh, I was pulling the wrong oh. one, that's why. And it also pulls out. So, show me, does it work? Nice. It's nice. It's a huge bed. What well, seems to be just a couch, right? It's not just only a couch, it's also four hour things and actually shoes. That's sweet of you. Flip flop under there. It's a lot more sturdy because we're gonna have vinyl that's about a quarter inch. We'll have it uh, perfectly flush with this thing, so it won't be wobbly. This, this, and this is hinged, and they're only attached to this thunder bar attached to just this. This bar itself is attached to this and this and this, obviously, as you can see, but they're not attached on this side. It allows it to roam freely. To roam freely. Yes. This one pulls out with the front of the couch. These ones are attached to this bar here, which slides all the way until it gets to this one, and then it can't go anymore. We're also gonna, from like here, to maybe about here, add like a backing support. And then we'll obviously have a custom cushion made. I kind of like that it looks a little raggedy because it is. 